so till the previous video we just learned the standard AT commands we just configure the baud rate of UART communication of JSON module and also we just set the bits number of bits in the UART communication along with the parity for UART communication and also we just checked the uh, several things like manufacturer of the module along with the module that we are using using these standard AT commands and in this video we are just going to see several attention commands which is useful for configuring or for monitoring the network parameters for the sim card available in the gsm module let's get started so the first and foremost command is this one at plus cpin which is useful for monitoring whether the sim card is inserted or not inserted so for now till now we have not inserted the sim card in the gsm module as we know from the previous video we just removed the sim card we have not properly inserted the sim card now i am just going to insert the sim card in this gsm module you can see the sim card has been inserted and you can clearly see that now the network led is blinking meaning that the network is available for the sim card other than that the status led is glowing along with the power led indicating that the module is functioning properly now let us check this at plus c pin in the dock light I am just going to create the sequence for this AT plus C PIN question mark of 0D 0A at the end. Now I am just establishing the connection between detail module and JSON module and I am sending the basic command AT. I have got the response OK and let me just proceed with sending this AT plus cpin i am getting error because it takes some time for configuring the sim card we have not powered down the module while inserting the sim card i am just resetting this board you can see while i have resetted it is producing the default cpin ready response so the gsm is ready for further processing it has produced with the response of rdy c fun 1 c pin ready and call ready meaning that the sim card has been initiated now when i send this at plus cpin you can see the c pin ready is the response for this command along with the echoing of the command so i just want to turn off this echo right for that we just utilize this ATE0 I am just sending this now when I send this AT plus CPIN since we have resetted the JSM module it has setted and configured to the default configurations that is the echo is enabled now we have disabled the echo by sending the ATE0 along with carriage return and now when I send this AT plus CPIN question mark you can see the C pin ready is the response meaning that the sim card has been properly inserted and it has been initiated and the next command is at plus csq which is useful for checking the signal strength of the gsm module so let me just create sequence for this i hope you are familiar with creating the sequence in this doc light terminal software i hope you learned it so that I, I won't want to explain it again and again to you now i'm sending at and after that i'm just sending this at plus csq question mark sorry i think the question mark will not be coming for this command now when i send this you can see the signal strength is 18 comma 0 
let me just open this csq it responds with rssi comma ber this rssi is nothing but the dbm level and ber is nothing but the if it is 0 to 7 as rx equal values in the table of gsm 5.8 if it is 99 not known or not detected but it is other than 99 it is having the value 0 so let me just leave that and strength on dbm is nothing but 18 it is okay so the next command is at plus cops which is a very important command and using this command only we can just configure the network configuration to be automatic or manual we will be doing it we will be doing it usually in phones right we will be setting the network searching parameter to be automatic or manual in our phone so for that purpose we are just going to use this command at plus cops let me just create the sequence for this now when i send this at plus CVPS. Now I am just clearing all the things in the serial terminal and I am sending only this AT plus COPS question mark carriage written at the end. You can see I am getting this response to be 0, 0, BSN mobile, BSNL mobile, which means this is the operator name. So using this command, you can also identify what is the operator that i am operating in that is the uh, voice provider and these two parameters are nothing but let me just open the data sheet so here is the at plus cops which is the operator selection at command and you can clearly see we are having two parameters one is the mode and second one is the format the mode determines whether it is automatic or manual so i am getting the mode to be zero you can clearly see i am getting zero comma zero so the first parameter is the mode which is given as zero so the mode is automatic by default so let me just leave the operator selection to be in automatic mode and so let me just leave the the operator selection in automatic mode let, let it just happen as it is and the regarding the second parameter second parameter is the format so format zero means long format alphanumeric let it be long format alphanumeric let it be as it is so i don't want to bother about it the network selection is automatic so let's proceed with the next processing we are done with the network selection ad commands See you in the next video. Thanks for watching.